Okay, okay. Let me just start this for all fire Raven fans with this Greg Roman. Y'all crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> I'm in here. We're just watching, you know what I'm saying? Checking out the uh, live stream, talking to coach. Then you see Fire Greg Roman just trending. Just can you, I'm typing something in there to my, to my homie engraving. And I couldn't even see what I put because it was so many Fire Greg Roman in there was going crazy and I hate to see someone to be let go but like I'm on as my saying say I'm on that train because he has a tendency of doing that I was speaking I was speaking with my cousin my cousin is a uh 49ers fan, diehard 49ers fan. And I remember when we made offense with Greg Roman, the offense coordinator, last year. And he was like, Oh, y'all gonna have one good year. I was like, Why you say one good year? He was like, Bro, you know, he was offense coordinator for the Niners. He had one good year, then he completely fell off. That's why we let him go. And I was like, Wow. I was like, nah, bro. But then after I thought about it, then I seen, I seen, I was like, let me look up his track record. Then I seen a, um, one of the fam members in my comments on one of my videos, Cash Money 2K, put that in there. We got to get rid of him. And I'm like, he and Cash Money brought up Lamar. Well, he don't want he don't want Greg Roman turn to have to, he don't want Greg Roman to make Lamar bad like he did Kaepernick and Tyrod Taylor. And when he was at Tyrod Taylor, I believe that was the Bills, and that was one year because I believe the Bills made that playoff that one year. And then. I believe they got rid of him because it was bad. And if and if you have a track record of only doing success for one year, that should be a sign. Because Greg Roman worked on the Jim Harbaugh, which is John Harbaugh's brother. Jim should know that information to give to his brother. Matter of fact, John should already know that information about Greg. Roman and it's just a trip because like the Hollywood tweet we know that was about Greg it's no if ands or buts and you see how this year is going where I've seen it on Twitter seen it on YouTube (laughs) it's like oh man I forgot who put that on there it's like he's running Madden plays. There's no creative. For as a run scheme, to me, in my opinion, he's great with the run scheme. Sometimes. That play, Lamar went for it on the fourth. I was thinking, pitch the ball out. J.K. Uh, pitch the ball out. Because J.K. was making a miss like crazy. And you're going to try to do a quarterback sneak with Lamar. Everybody, er, the whole defense was just sitting there like, man, you ain't going to throw it. You're going to try to run up the middle or something with Lamar. Should have pitched it to J.K. And that's where Greg Roman lacks. He doesn't upgrade himself. And it's it's already, it's getting too, I'm getting too tired of it already. I'm like the fans that was trending let him go pretty much excuse me let him go it's time 
And the thing about it, Harbs, man, I don't know if what Harbs going to do. I believe I'll be extremely shocked if they let him go in the middle of the season, but I don't see it happening. And Flacco had the same problem. We had one good coordinator with Flacco, in my opinion, was Gary. Best season ever Flacco ever had. We couldn't up. We couldn't contain him. I believe it was a medical problem or somebody picked him up or something like that. But they could have tried to do something because he's back coordinating. But we got to get somebody that can will help Lamar improve because we know the run game is there. And Greg Roman lacks hugely in passing. Hit that and that and everybody sees it. If that whole entire league sees it, that's a problem. But that was just my quick take. I'm not going to go into deep, deep detail. But it's already out there. The only thing is, will the Ravens listen?